of toxic sludge waste. Wow. And they would, uh, of course, call that a closed loop system. Um, obviously, the Federal Trade Commission had implemented labeling laws mandating that, that bamboo list itself as viscose bamboo. So luckily, there is some um, security when it comes to the labeling law. Um, obviously, consumers need to understand what it means because when you see terms you've never seen before, yeah. you don't understand. So it's good to pull your phone out and do a quick search and really understand what you're looking at. Yeah, speaking of what we're looking at. Um, yeah, so this is such a good example. So we we show the, the long hemp fiber here that's yeah. been through a mechanical process. But Summer, I've got hemp here, don't I? This <laughs> is viscose. So you can obviously feel to the hand that this is like a plasticky yeah. type material. Now you can really see. It feels like something that comes out of like just it's not what I it's it's synthetic like it, it it doesn't look like yeah try to even pull out some fibers there and you can see how short they are but these aren't even actual fibers anymore these are little polymers more similar to like a fishing line yeah than a fiber uh, because of that chemical process and we've talked about how you know these chemical processes go to the lab and the lab comes back saying no plant matter detected. Mm -hmm. So with viscose, there's over 120 chemicals, including formaldehyde and benzenes. Wow. And they're spitting it out the other end in little fishing line plastic polymer fibers. Yeah. Um, that, you know, literally has been so toxic pr production, they can't even tell you what plant it's derived from. And obviously, too, these are such short little staple lengths that mm -hmm. you don't have any durability. Right. You don't have any natural plant properties left. It's um, nice. So why are we continuing to support something that's been perpetuating the problem all along? Yeah. If you're wearing or selling viscose hemp in, and you're marketing it as like a sustainable product, you're, like Summer just said, you're leading customers down the wrong path. You're taking advantage of the attributes of hemp that are natural and organic and have been done through hand for a long time, but you're adding a chemical process to it that is has no remaining hemp material, like no no feed no benefits that are really uh, useful. It, it you're misleading the clientele by by offering viscose hemp, and that's absolutely not what we're interested in doing with my company and obviously to Summer's lead and her innovation with this or her ability to really stay strong while others have gone the cheap way. And so there's a reason why you pay more when you come to Enviro Textile or when you work with me, I'm going to be utilizing the real thing so that you can utilize the real thing and your customers and your employees are able to utilize the benefits that come from industrial hemp fiber. Yeah, no, our, our ultimate goal is to maintain all the right reasons of why we all focus on these great products and not be sowing support to something that's literally depleting the entire purpose of what we've all been working so hard to achieve for many decades and many generations now. And it's important for people to not only start understanding what are their clothes made out of and how was that processed, um, but, but go in your closet and start feeling your clothes and looking at the tag and understanding, okay, well, my rayon blouse feels like this and I have this great old linen skirt from my mom that feels like this and I've got this great hemp organic cotton t-shirt from hemp goods distribution that feels like this and I've got, you know, all these different variations right in your own closets. So you can start to really educate yourself on the hand so that when you go into the store, you won't be fooled by these Franken fiber organic, you know, fooled, Poly you know, fooled labeling. Um, and unfortunately with hemp, there is no labeling law to classify, is this a viscose hemp? Is this a rayon hemp? Is this the new cottonized hemp? Um, and you know, when you, when you feel an actual synthetic, it, 
it's good to kind of close your eyes and have it in your hands and then pull it away and you can almost feel a film left between your fingers. And, you know, with true natural fibers, you can have this wonderful, soft silkiness, too. But you can absolutely start to tell the difference between a true natural fibers softness mm -hmm. and a chemical plastic material softness. It's completely night and day. And you can also put it on and wear it. And that's going to really tell you because, you know, once your body wears a true natural fiber and then especially a fiber that holds all these great benefits, yeah. your body is listening, you know, and, and sometimes you'll wear it and go, yeah, it feels good, but I don't know. I mean, it's different. And then as soon as you try to go wear your favorite poly button up again, mm -hmm. all of a sudden your body can't breathe and it's rejecting that material against your skin because it's had the opportunity to finally breathe and experience a true plant fiber. Wow. It's amazing. 